Michael Nagy here with Junior Jack TV, and I'm here at the band for that. How are you doing tonight? I'm great. Thanks for having me. Yeah, yeah. So want to give us a little history about the band for anyone who doesn't know? Oh, sure. Uh, we started in 83, uh, heavily influenced by a new wave of British heavy metal and hardcore. A lot of prog rock uh, involved as well. Some alternative music we called back then, like Killing Joke, Bauhaus. It's all a mixture of uh, uh, end of 70s, early 80s stuff. Wow, incredible. Now, how did you guys get to be so big? Like, I know you're called one of the biggest Canadian uh, metal bands out there. It's, it's incredible. Uh, perseverance, and uh, it's 36 years of uh, working hard on the, on the band, and it's paying off uh, these days. We have, we have a great momentum right now. Cool, cool. Now, I know you've had a lot of member changes over the years. How did that affect the band? Like, how are you able to keep going? How you yeah, are. every time it's a uh, it's a tough challenge, and uh, we sort of have to start over again. Even though the name is pretty well known, uh, the the challenge is to adapt to the newest members uh, musically as well. But it's a uh, it's uh, exciting and refreshing. Now, how many albums do you have? We have fourteen albums. Um, like um, studio albums um, with the com compilations and live albums, it, over 20 albums. Wow, that's yeah. awesome. Mm -hmm. Now the new album, I know it focuses a lot about stories and stuff like that, so you want to tell us a little about that? Well, it's um, uh, Snake the Senior could tell you more about the concept, but uh, it's some ancient entity uh, dormant under the sea that's been awakened um, um, purposely and then uh, changes everything on earth socially and uh, um, it's uh, um, just a, a big change a big awakening for uh, this planet hmm. now a lot of these personal experiences are you fantasy or how does that well it's all I mean the message is always about earth but it's uh, about the destruction of this planet but it's true sort of sci-fi folk tales in a way huh so kind of almost like a message to the people like yeah you know, about the kind of what's think, going on uh, with the planet the world yeah it's always related to what's going on but it's uh, in a science fiction uh, type of settings hmm, awesome. Now about this tour now, tell us about this tour, I mean, this is a pretty incredible tour. It's a really amazing and uh, it's uh, very well attended, um, it's a blast everywhere and uh, it's fun because even though Voivod is a pretty uh, established band, we don't get to play the uh, old American theaters like we do on this tour, we usually play smaller clubs and, and so it's been an amazing experience and plus uh, the three bands we get along just uh, amazingly, so it's, we're just surfing on it. That's cool, and I guess the people are treating you pretty well, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, we have a lot of respect from promoters and uh, everybody, the other bands and everybody, and uh, it's just an amazing tour, it's too bad that it's so short. <laughs> <laughs> now, I had a fan uh, question about um, the albums you do, the artwork, uh, what's your, one of your favorite um, album covers you have? Uh, you mean for Voivod? Or, yeah, uh, yeah, for Voivod. Vo uh, mm. The first album uh, I'm very proud of, uh, it was my first professional painting and uh, so uh, I think I was able to represent um, the music and the lyrics uh, properly uh, in the Cold War uh, era and uh, so um, I think War and Pain would be the one that I'm the most proud of, uh, probably, yeah. Yeah, yeah, the artwork for all the albums is awesome. So. Thank you. So, um, what do you have coming up in the future? Are you going to be working on another album? Or? We are writing a new album right now on the road. Um, but um, it's just that the year is booked very solid. Uh, we have, uh, after this US tour, uh, we have to go and, I mean, we are playing the Maryland Death Fest in May. But then uh, after that, we are playing the Jazz Fest in Montreal. And then we go and play all the festivals in Europe in August. September, October would be another US tour all across USA and then uh, November, December we go back to play the clubs in Europe so we are able to demo material uh, uh, backstage and uh, in the bus so uh, uh, we're doing everything at once. So just constant touring and... Constant touring and writing which is amazing. Yeah, yeah. Cool, cool. Do you have any concept themes for that new album? Or? Uh, no, not yet. Uh, we um, we 
I mean, the guitar player too, we just started to put down ideas on, on his laptop and we're gonna build from there. Just see how it all comes together and flows. And then... Yeah, but the reception for the new album, The Wake, is just so amazing that we uh, uh, we feel confident that it's a good path to follow, sort of this fusion trash metal thing. Now having so many albums, when you play live, how do you pick, you know, from the category of songs you play, like a mix of old songs, new songs, how do you... We try to cover the career, but we have so many albums that we have to skip albums once in a while. So now we are concentrating on uh, the first um, seven albums, and uh, let's say from Warren to uh, The Outer Limits. And we play material from the Post Society EP and the new album, The Wake. Cool, cool. Awesome. Now, if people want to look you up online, find you, how do they do that? Oh, vivat.com, and uh, we have a Facebook page, pretty active, and uh, that's the main uh, Insta Instagram and the usual social uh, media. And YouTube and all that. YouTube, yeah. yeah, cool, yeah cool. We, awesome. are, we have uh, plenty of stuff available online for sure. Cool. Well, it's good talk with you, know, right. look them up. <laughs> Cheers. Cool. Thank you.